Hello beautiful souls. If this reading has found you, then it was meant for you. Today I have a choose a card love reading for you. So take a look at all the different cards. Think about which one you are intuitively drawn to. If you picked card one, this reading will be for you. The other two readings will be posted on my page shortly as part two for card two and then part three for card three. So if you chose card one, this is your reading. This is going to be the theme of your love reading, the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles represents a partner who is very solid, steady, stable, secure, someone who loves commitment, someone who is very well grounded. Um, if this person isn't in your life already, then they soon will be. This is actually one of my favorite court cards in the tarot because this person is just so reliable. So if you've already found this person, you are super lucky. Ace of Pentacles. So if you haven't already found this person, then a new opportunity is coming up for you very soon to meet this person. And if you are already in a relationship, the Ace of Pentacles is a very positive card that the two of you will continue to grow together. Um, you'll continue to nourish your relationship because your relationship is probably doing really well. King of Cups, the two of you are learning from each other. You have a very emotionally committed relationship. Um, you respect each other. Um, this is just super great. This is nothing bad, nothing scary. Like, this just must mean that the two of you are on the right track. You have found your right person. Four of Pentacles Reverse indicates that either you or your partner may be nervous or may be afraid um, to let love in, to open yourselves up because you're afraid of getting hurt. If you had some past trauma or negative past relationship, I can understand why you would be nervous or afraid to trust this relationship as solid, but it is. This is a very solid and loving relationship so you need to trust. I would say the key message of the Four of Pentacles reverse would be don't be afraid to trust. Don't be afraid to let love in. You have found a really good, solid companion here. Aces are always a very positive card to receive. So nothing, nothing bad. Um, your partner is very supportive. You're very supportive of your partner. So don't be afraid to let go. Don't be afraid to trust. This one kind of fell out. The crone. See, you've been through things in the past. You have experience. You have wisdom. Trust the wisdom that you have. Trust that you have learned from past mistakes. Trust that you have grown from past relationship uh, choices and experiences. Just trust yourself and trust your partner. The thread. The two of you seem to be linked together. There is a thread going through your relationship, a thread going through the two of you. Um, you guys are really closely linked. So if ever there was a time to trust a relationship or trust a person, now would be that time. I left when I saw you with someone. I don't know if this is talking about a past relationship that you had. I don't know if your partner was a jealous type, controlling type. But this person that you're with now, it's not that person. So you have to kind of trust that you're not repeating the same patterns. You're not finding the same problematic, toxic people that you were with before. It's time for you to heal now, and this is a perfect ending to this reading. It's time for you to trust. It's time for you to heal. 
from that controlling, jealous partner that you had in the past. Trust that this person that you found this time is really good for you, is right for you. It's just a really positive and great person. If this reading resonated with you, be sure to let me know in the comments, um, and I'll see you next time. And if you picked cards two or three, check out parts two and part three that I'll be posting on my page very shortly. Hello, beautiful soul. If this reading has found you, then it was meant for you. It is a specific love reading. Pick a card. So I need you to close your eyes, center yourself, calm yourself. As soon as you open your eyes, choose the card that you were drawn to first. This video is actually going to discuss card two. So if you picked card one or card three, um, check my page. Card one is already posted and card three I will be posting very shortly. So if you picked card two, this reading is for you. Um, Ten of Cups is a very happy, very positive card. Either you're already in a happy, joyful, and committed relationship at this time, or one will be coming to you very soon, very shortly. Your next relationship will be the one that you'll be in for a very long time, and it'll be full of happiness, contentment, love, joy, Queen of Swords. It will be with or is with someone who may seem a little cold um, or abrasive on the outside, especially to other people. But once you crack that shell and you get to know them, um, they're really smart. They're really intelligent. They're really about making plans. Um, they'll definitely ride or die for you. Like This is the kind of person who you would really want on your side. Strong partner supportive partner um yeah all positive things ace of pentacles is also a very great card it has to do with new beginnings so if you're in a relationship with this person already um you may be thinking about or almost about to um take the relationship to the next level um, of commitment safety security um, if you're not already partnered with this person, if you have not found this relationship yet, the ace shows that you will very soon, very shortly be getting a new opportunity to be meeting this person. As far as the oracle card has to say, we have three, three falling out, three falling out for you. We have the destroyer. I don't know if you're the kind of person or your partner is the kind of person who has a history or a track record of self-sabotage. Um, so just be aware of that. Just know that even though this person can be a little difficult to manage, um, you know, they do love you. They will love you. There's a great opportunity for growth in this relationship. Don't self-sabotage. Don't talk yourself out of it. Yeah, basically, don't mess it up. No, <laughs> Just accept a good thing when it comes. Um, the ocean also fell out. A very emotional... Water is a very emotional sign. Um, which is the opposite of this queen <clears throat> of swords. Swords is kind of like a stoic, logical sign. So, you may be more emotional than your partner here. And that's okay. Balance is good. The balance actually will work. The balance will help with the longevity of the relationship. And then the third card that fell out for you is the creator. So um, the two of you may actually have karmic ties. Um, the two of you may have been together since the dawn of time. So really focus on trying to make it work. Really focus on not self-sabotaging the relationship or yourself because the ten of cups the queen of swords the ace of pentacles all positive things great potential here as far as the hidden oracle goes there was a card fell out right here i couldn't let you get close to me and that may be the key to overcoming any challenges that this relationship has 
it goes back to that self-sabotage mentality or mindset. If you feel, or, or it could be your partner's way of thinking too. If you feel or they feel, this card, I can't let you get close to me. You have to make a conscious effort to open up your heart and let new opportunities come, let new growth come. Trust that the two of you were meant to be together. And don't get in your own way and fight for the relationship that you know could work out. I want to tell you how I feel. Communication is really important. With those swords personalities, like the Queen of Swords, uh, communication is very, very important. Um, the two of you will definitely have to communicate, especially since um, one of you may be like emotionally and watery, and the other one may be um, more logical, rational, you know, thinking like the swords. So the two of you have to really make sure that you're communicating how each other feels and you're looking at things from each other's perspectives. That's how you can overcome any challenges that come from this relationship. If this reading resonated with you, make sure you type claim in the comments and I'll see you next time. Hello, beautiful soul. We have a choose a card specific love reading for you. If this reading has found you, then it was definitely meant for you. I need you to close your eyes, breathe, center yourself, and when you open your eyes, pick the first card that you were drawn to. In this reading, we will be focusing on card three. If you picked cards one or two, those readings have already been posted on my page. If you picked card three, then this video is for you. Page of Cups, you may have a message coming to you pertaining to your love life. You may have a message coming or someone who has been admiring you from afar may decide to let you know how they feel. They may be building up the courage to finally express how they feel. Um, the Devil Reversed is not a great sign. Um, once this person does reveal to you, um, that they have feelings for you, you may determine that, you know, this really is not the person for you and that's okay. It's okay to say no. If someone asks you out, it's okay to say, oh, I would rather be friends or, oh, I'm not emotionally available at this time. There's plenty of ways that you can gently let someone down if you're not feeling the vibe. And the devil card reversed indicates that perhaps this person wouldn't be very healthy for you or that this relationship wouldn't be in your best interests. And the high priestess indicates you definitely should trust your intuition on this and your intuition is going to tell you that perhaps this person isn't really the best for you. Um, this person may even have light hair, light eyes, and maybe a uh, young younger than you or just young in general uh, physically or emotionally immature um, so just be aware of that so if someone texts you or calls you pouring their heart out to you I would think really hard long and hard about whether or not that relationship would be a good idea um, the seed perhaps you know this person and they have already kind of planted the seed about how they feel before coming right out and spilling their whole guts to you. So you may have an inkling about who this person is and what they may be wanting to tell you. The Destroyer, yeah. So in this case, um, the Destroyer mixed with the Devil, not great. Um, I feel like this person, even though they may really love you and they may really want to be with you, may not be the best idea for you so may not be great but definitely trust your intuition um you know don't try to rationalize things or make excuses if you don't want to do something or be with someone you need to trust that and then here from the um hidden truth oracle fell out as i was shuffling it says i am not available and if 
you ever needed more proof <laughs> um, of what all the other cards were saying, then this definitely is your proof. Simply say, you know, I'm just not available right now. I'm not ready to be in a relationship right now. Or if you're already in a relationship, say, no, I'm very happy in the relationship that I'm in. Just let them down kind of gently, but um, it's definitely okay to say no. And I feel like your vibes and your intuition is definitely going to be leaning towards the no. Um, so if this reading resonated with you, be sure to type claim in the comments. Um, follow for more and I'll see you next time.